Um, according to some articles I um, shown here um, about the slim PS3 is coming going to be uh, coming out, uh, Sony um, has stated that the uh, reinstating the backwards spec compatibility to the PS3 slim model is quote off the table, and they're showing the reason and the reason why it's because dude. Uh, as a dude, man, you do the PlayStation 3 just to play by PS3 games. I'm going to show you this Sony. I have these PS2 games that I still like to play in the future. How much does it, how much does it have to cost to, you know, at least... I mean, this PS2 motion sensor chips, like, you know, the, the, the uh, motion, the PS2 chips and stuff, if you probably would have mass uh produce somewhere like that and you say oh we're just gonna be let's go over here i mean let's put some emulation stuff on this system here oh man sony please put on the backwards compatibility on it how much does it cost to even put some emulation software on it So after I put my rant on uh, my, my PS3 rant about this and Sony has sitting in my face and stuff and says we're not putting a backwards compatibility it's simply off the table because you buy PS3 games and if you want to play PS2 buy PS2 if you want to play PS2 games go yourself and buy a PS2 okay money hoggers I mean, I still, I mean, I still probably some somewhat enjoy NES games today, but to uh, say that oh, you took off the PS3, PS2 backwards compatibility on the PS3 because oh, you already have a PS2. I don't think it's talking nice to me, and it's talking nice to customers. So screw them and your money hogs and the C and the CEOs. I believe that person should step down and I should be taking cover in here and the backwards compatibility would be great so that people can buy these classic games for the system and um, without having to buy another machine. Sony. Freak these money hogs.